Hello everyone and welcome to the Azam Sharp YouTube channel. I'm your host Mohammad Azam and in this small screencast I'm going to show you how you can create a sticker packs application. Now in iOS 10 Apple released the framework for messages API and which allows you to create messages application and sticker pack applications. So if you have iOS 10 uh, you can simply go and look at sticker packs. So if you go into messages and inside you can go, let me actually go there, here we go. So these are, this is of course running in a simulator as you can see, you can click on the app store. So that's a new thing that has been added in iOS 10, that there's an app store for the messages extension. So if you click on the app store, uh, you can see all of these sticker packs. These are sticker packs included by Apple. But if you want to download more, you can, in your real device, you can go to a store, which will be over here, and download some other stuff. So sticker packs are pretty cool because you can simply click on these things and send it to your friends. So right now, John is sending hello to Kate and Kate can look at it and it looks like that, all right? So these sticker packs, the one that I'm actually using right now, which is uh, right over here, is part of the Apple demo purposes kind of, okay? And of course, if you have updated to iOS 10, you will get these sticker packs or similar sticker packs from uh, uh, from Apple, but that also means that you can create your own sticker packs. So if you have the flags of the countries or some funny emo emojis, you can create them really, really easily without even writing a single line of code. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, one thing to note is I am actually using Xcode version 8.0. It has been released. If you have now downloaded it, you need Xcode 8 to create sticker packs or iMessages application because all the iOS 10 frameworks are actually added in Xcode uh, version 8. Uh, so simply go to the Mac App Store and download Xcode 8.0. It is, of course, free. So I'm going to go new and I'm just going to say new project. And here we go. So this is, of course, a new kind of like a layout for different kind of projects. You have iOS projects over here. You have your watch OS projects, TV OS, Mac OS, and cross-platform projects over here, all right? So if you select iOS project, because we are actually building an iOS application, uh, you will see right over here is a sticker pack application. But over here, we also have iMessages application. I'm going to choose a sticker pack application and sticker pack, as I previously said, uh, you don't really need to write any lines of code to create a sticker pack application. You can literally create it in like 30 seconds and that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to say a sticker pack application. I'm going to say next and I'm just going to say retro emoji uh, app, you know, any name that you want to type. Uh, I'm going to say next, uh, create you know, the project folder and everything. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so this is it. You can see there's no code in my uh, file explorer over here. And if I click on the stickers, you will see that you have the, you have to provide the icons if you want to publish it to the app store. But you also have sticker pack folder. And currently it says uh, there are no sticker packs. And well, uh, it's right because we have not really added any images that will serve as sticker packs. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to, I already have a folder over here on my desktop. It's called Retro Images. And it, it has a bunch of smiley images over there. I am going to select all of those and really drag it inside the folder. So you can see I'm actually dragging 89 images into the sticker pack. And there we go. And there we go. And that's literally it. That's all you need to do to create a sticker pack application. So let's go ahead and run it. So all the images you can see over here and let's go ahead and run it. And it's going to run in the uh, simulator over here. Let's see if it refreshes that part or not. All right, so now we have to, here we go. So it's going to start appearing over here in Retro Emoji app because that's the one that we are writing. I have to wait a little bit. Here we go, see? And now this is all the images that you just added. So if I want to send an image uh, to the other party, I can simply select that and send. And that's it. And the and Kate is going to receive the image right over here. All right. 
Now, of course, uh, you can modify that the image size will be large, small, and those kind of things. Uh, so if you click right over here on this guy over here, uh, you can see that right now the sticker pack is also medium size. Uh, you can say it's a large size, you can say it's a small size. I think small size is going to work best in this particular scenario because the images that I'm using are actually pretty small. So let me go ahead and run it again. And you'll see now it looks much better because uh, the images are, uh, are aligned much more and you can see more images. Here we go. So it looks much nicer now because you can see more images at one go. Okay, and now I can select the image send it and the receiver john is going to uh, get the you know get the image if, if that person uh, has the emoji uh, retro emoji installed it can go ahead and send out some images over here and that's pretty much it as you saw i mean it's so easy to create sticker pack applications using ios 10 uh, and does not require any code at all and you literally created the app in uh, let's say 30 seconds. I hope you like this video. If you do, uh, please go ahead and uh, share it. Thank you very much and have a great day.